Hi everyone, this is Alf Ali. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing okay. So today I'm doing a VOD view. This is actually for Frogo. Now this is Frogo's first ever VOD. Basically, we've never ever done one for them. Um, they have put basically, I'm original. Um, I'm originally a console player, but this VOD is his PC. So obviously we switched from console to PC. As of right now, I am a gold two on PC, but I'm a diamond player on console, okay? I've been trying to rank up um, on console. I've been trying to rank up, but I feel as though I'm struggling with res timings and movements because of being on PC makes me feel paranoid. <laughs> Okay, first of all, Frogger, I'm going to be very honest with you. I've body viewed a lot of PC players and a lot of console players. The game pretty much runs exactly the same, okay? Like, just imagine you're playing Overwatch just with a keyboard and mouse. Like, that is literally the only, like, difference it feels like, at least when I'm, like, looking at these VODs and stuff. I think on PC, though, in, like, some of the higher ranks, so you do have to be a little bit, um, what's it called? A little bit more strict with like warrior position and stuff like that but the majority of the time like the game pretty much runs the exact same okay it's just kind of getting used to that keyboard and mouse feeling it's getting used to doing that movements on your keyboard and mouse so i think um are you very very new to switching to um pc or have you like been on pc for like quite a while because i know a lot of people like me for specifically like i what's it called i really really struggle with um playing um keyboard and mouse i've been on it for a bit okay that's awesome um, so yeah, so I guess we shall just kind of get started with the VOD, but once again, if you guys want your own VOD review, be it for 5,000 channel points, I do them on Twitch on Mondays, but also stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays too. They are completely for free, I do them on Mondays, and you essentially just have to earn the 5k channel points, which you do by simply just watching the streams, and then you can just redeem it on a Monday, and I will gladly do them live on stream, and then obviously they get uploaded onto YouTube afterwards. With these as well, I do a slight like, little bit of a skin review, I guess. And we have Pink Mercy. I think we've only had one of a Pink Mercy VOD like before this. So it's really, really nice to be able to see another one because I think it's a skin that I don't really get to see too often with the VODs. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to get started basically and we shall go ahead and see how we can improve our rest timings and movements. So first thing, um, it looks like they were playing with Mate at the beginning. Nice. Oh, okay. I don't like this movement though, okay? Do we can honestly we could just chill out in this room right now, right? You could just what's it called? You could literally just like just chill out in this room and just GA and like not GA, sorry. You could just literally sit in this room and like damage with people. If you see this Doom wanting to punch onto you though, at that point just like like oh what you could do is you could just like walk and block LOS because obviously he could only like punch straight. And then as you're doing so, you can also kind of like back out and um around like this as well in case you need to but essentially you don't need to be kind of like going out here because it's the reason why you end up getting picked off by by the punch so we'll keep going though nice nice i'd go okay nice overall i see Ooh. Okay, overall, I see no issues whatsoever. Uh, not, not so far, okay? I was, I said a little ooh before because I, I thought, like, I was, I didn't see basically how weak your team were here, basically, because you were very kind of, like, tunnel vision onto the, the soldier. So I was very much like, oh, because we're going to, what's it called? We're going to, like, go and, um, like, press damage boost onto the soldier. And then suddenly, like, these guys were critical. And I was like, oh, okay. But this might be, like, a field of view thing because I know on PC, you can, like, increase the field of view compared to, like, um console. You, you have, like, a very limited one. You can't, like, change it or anything basically so yeah just um obviously if you were able to see this and um, good because obviously i couldn't see it um but yeah anyways um, i like all your kind of like, decision making here you know i feel as though your uh, position was really really great obviously you cannot help with your um on or getting hit by an icicle absolutely fine um now the my issue comes with the res okay let's quickly rewind it and i'm going to talk to you why i should why i would have done personally okay so it's this bit where i was like oh but then i realized you know what's going on that's fine just but remember you don't need to like heal people up to full by the way you have been doing a little bit like i think too much healing at this point like for example you know when like you're healing up your aggressor she will also be you know being healed up by your honor and you can also she has a heal pad so you can push that damage boost a tiny bit more in that scenario all right but we keep going okay i want you to focus on your own survivability before you go for this res, okay? Because what happens? Imagine if this May doesn't get taken out by the soldier and you die now to what's it called, to this May. You have left your team without any healers and then bam, 
your, the, uh, your team's going to fall over, they win first point. However, if you manage to go and damage boost someone that can go and focus this maid, like for example, say the soldier or something, so um, we were kind of like stood here, okay? Let's do maybe a GA to these kind of like telephone boxes, play our cover, and you know, we can, what's it called? We can play our cover. We then can just, what's it called? Damage boost our soldier who's very like onto the, what's it called? the may right now once that's gone reassess the situation and then go for the res basically okay i forgot to ping it i think even pinging it is still because the issue is right may is very tunnel vision onto you all she has to do is hit two headshots onto you while um, you're doing this res and you're dead as well okay i think it's better if you decide to what's it called if you go to damage boost this um soldier maybe what's it called um ping the may or something like that basically and just kind of ga around and then wait for that good opportunity to go for the res okay you only really need to ping reses if you need help and support from your team and right now like may is not a person that you like will need help and support with because they've made it's because the thing with may right Arissa can't help you because she's, you know, she's, like, pushed up, like, trying to help May right now. It's not like you have, like, a D.Va or, like, a shield or anything that can shield you off for the res. So you have to essentially wait for this to go, basically. So you have to essentially just, what's it called, go damage with soldier and then come for this res, all right? Uh, we do end up doing it. Quick little tip, though, if you do end up, obviously, in this, like, this weird, like, goofy situation, right? Just um, tilt your head hip block slightly to the left, like this. The reasoning is because when Mercy reses, can you see how... um? her arm gets lifted up like this so if you um tilt yourself slightly this way it gives you this hip head hip uh, sorry this uh, this hip box right now the arm and your wing basically block the majority of your head hip box which basically means that you can get away with these reses obviously by accident you know these are accidental reses well like, you do this basically if you turn slightly it will try and like mitigate as much headshot damage as possible so it means that the may has to hit like three body shots instead basically so definitely just what's it called that's another like thing to keep in mind if you end up kind of like panicking like you have just done now just do like the slight little turn it's been a little silly in that moment when i did it i love it and it's nice nice really good like blend your soldier though i stay with him though because you end up oh, okay this is issue right we end up kind of like just what's it called slingshotting in and then like oh we're gonna leave him now okay What's going to happen is the soldier will now want to try and take this 1v1 with the, the Genji, right? So we need to be committed in with him. So do you see when like, you kind of like did, did this like GA in? GA like fully in with him and commit in, okay? Heal him up and then start damage boosting. Obviously when he's deflecting, heal because he's not going to shoot into deflect. And then you can go and like finish it off. Because what ends up happening is you end up kind of like going in to go and help him. And it's like, ah, oh, okay, I'm done now. And then going back, okay? Try to remember who is your main blue beam target in this as well. Soldier is our main blue beam target. So we need to try and make sure that we're still, you know, trying to go and help and stay with him, basically, okay? Because it feels like you go in and then you just go out and he, you kind of like abandon him and he's under the impression right now that you're gonna follow through and help with this Genji kill. So just kind of like just bear that in mind. Players, um, we've already used res. Nice lovely letting your GA play out there. Damage boost here. On it can very easily heal up the Saressa right now. Gets her nano quicker as well. Damage boost at this point. Okay. Nice. Nice. Just make sure you get that beam on a little bit quicker if you can. Lovely. Love that. Nice. Okay, let's go back a bit because I feel so. I feel so. Um, Frogger, you're. I feel so. You are definitely still struggling with the keyboard and mouse. I can. I can see it a bit. Like when you play, like it still feels a little bit not fluid. Okay, this is the point. Okay, we should have. What's it called? We should have tried to get the beam on us slightly a little bit quicker right now. Love this. This. This was. This was really, really great. Okay, I think at this point this should have been a vertical super jump i would have made this a vertical one because then it gives you an option right it gives you an option to either go and help these guys in front of the may walk so obviously it's going to be out of los of the honor or it gives you the option to go a a back and go and help these guys basically because if you kind of super jump and then play like above the wall but apart from um apart from may there isn't really anyone that can get you when you're like vertically basically and may's obviously going to be focused on the blizzard oh sorry it's your your mate has put down the blizzard but like still <laughs> it's what's it called she's only gonna be able like to hit my eyes calls and right now she's very focused on the front line basically as panicking because of the doom don't panic like okay how how is this doom gonna like kill you 
if you are kind of like at the same height as him and if you're near a wall, okay? So how ca how can we prevent that, okay? It, I feel as though the best way you can get around panicking against people is how are they going to be able to attack me? Okay, Doom has to be on the same level as me or has to be, you know, get close to me basically. So you can play heights. Same thing with like Ryan, okay? How can we get, you know, past playing Ryan? We play our distance. We play away from his, what's it called? We play away from his swings. If we feel like he's got pin, making sure that we still have a GA online just in case he wants to aim for us. Same thing with Winston, right? Wait for Winston to jump onto us and then we can use his like, you know how like Winston jumps? It gives you like a little bit like of a lift up basically. Then you can like GA away basically. So just honestly, do not panic. If if you have if you have a person that you think is going to be hard focusing you like during this match or like it's going to be a threat to you, think okay, how am I going to be able to get like not get picked off by him basically? Okay, and we could do this in this exact scenario by going up into the air like this, and because you can have your cover away from the enemy team, and you're also above the Doomfist. Because what's Doomfist going to be able to do to you here? Like nothing, because he's just used like some of his cooldowns and stuff, you know, to get like um into the back line to come and get some honor, all right? So I would have played up a little bit more up here. Because if you play up there, then it means we could have gone to go and maybe help the May a little bit more. Nice GA. I respect the Vault. Damage boost here, down you, okay. Nice res, nice res. Nice. My only thing for that entire Valk is please damage boost more, okay? Because especially at the start of the Valk, um, you what's it called? There was kind of like a lot of a time where a lot of people were full HP and you were still healing, okay? Try push that damage boost a lot more during that Valk, okay? Res was perfect. I love how you drag it around this piece of cover. Really, really nice, like, res here, same. Okay, and then we end up going, obviously, up and back here, out with the cover. Lovely healing, um, obviously, when Genji does, like, the little swipes and stuff, you know, to try and keep people up. I feel so you did as much as you could to try and keep your soldier up, it is what it is. And then... Obviously, we're ending Valk now. I'm going to end up seeing what you do at the end of this Valk, but I like the Valk timings. I like the reason for the Valk. Just push that damage boost a tiny bit more in that Valk, okay? But we'll keep going. P, push that damage boost. Arissa's full HP. Nice. Keep pushing damage boost. Nice. Nice. Stay, stay with Honor, though. Lovely. Lovely position. Damage boost, mate. Okay. Oh, okay. I love all this. Frogger, your, your positioning and I feel as though like the way that you move about is beautiful, okay? I feel as though, especially like coming up to here, like, you know, playing up here and stuff, you're, you're very, very aware of like where you can be safe. Love that from you. That's really, really great, okay? My thing is damage boost, okay? I, I feel as though, Frogger, like you have such, um, how do I put it? Like you have such good decision making with like your movements and stuff right it's very it's very um prominent that you know what you want to do with that movement that's great okay but now we have a slight issue of you don't know what to do with your damage boost okay for example you know when you came up to here we should have then what's it called we should have then gone to go and damage boost um our mate to try and get the pick off on the genji a little bit sooner once that's done then we can go and follow up with the help with the heal on the rest okay i want you now to really focus on when we should be damage boosting people okay but this is fine up to healing your Rissa here. Okay. You know that you've just heard this kit soon, Rush, that this is not going to be a resible opportunity, okay? So just leave it for now. You might be able to get one in the future, but just leave it. That was a mistake, and it's all right. Nice. Oh, okay. Instead of doing a flick hop here, I would just do maybe like a GA buddy hop just around this corner. Because obviously you don't want to be kind of like playing in that kid's soon Rush. Doing also a GA counselor would have meant that we what's it called. We could have like managed to get around the main wall. Just unfortunate. Nice how you use your pistol by the way. I'd love to uh, get rid of the main wall. Really nice. Just unfortunate man. Love how you get your pistol out as well. You know just to like try and stall out a tiny bit more. And obviously get yourself like killed off a lot easier. I feel as though you did like pretty much as much as you could do there Froko. My only thing is just um make that a little bit more of a GA cancel um to get like around um where your honor is because then it would have meant that you would have had your GA on online when you had your beam through the May wall. You could have done a prop jump up onto the May wall and then helped out a little bit more. But that's very that's me being like really, really pickly like really picky. I'm telling you it's cancelling. Dude cancel is the way to go, my friend. Like 
it saves your G cooldown like so so much. I would have pushed up a tiny bit more there, but it's absolutely fine because obviously soldiers get picked off. Nice damage boost here. Ooh. Okay, just make sure that we're still backing off with Arna here though. Like we could definitely still walk back. Because remember, May's gonna stay in her ice block for like pretty much as long as she can, kind of thing. So we could just keep on walking back with our honor just so we're not, you know, being focused by this May. Or maybe like go up onto like this high ground or something, basically, just so we can what's it called? We can play out of the way of the May and then go in to go and help her. Cause I feel as though we're a little bit tunnel vision there. Okay. But we keep going. Nice. Damage boost. Beautiful. You see how we damage boosted here? That's exactly what you should have done earlier. Nice saving your GA. Nice, just keep on damage boosting your Rissa right now because Rissa is the one that's going to be doing the damage. I would unironically be damage boosting um, Arissa here rather than um, May, okay? The reason is because May's icicles, she cannot, while damage boosted, she cannot just get a straight one shot headshot compared to Arissa, who's going to be doing a lot of like damage, you know, just like general like kind of damage kind of thing, right? So I would rather you sit here and you damage boost your Orissa up until maybe the May gets her freezy blaster thing kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this thing is that she's currently using, right? Damage boost then when people start to get a little bit closer, basically. But I would definitely be damage boosting Orissa here over your May. All right, but we'll keep going. Nice heals. Leave your, once again, leave your honor to heal that. Nice. Nice damage boost the soldier. I don't think you need Valk here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it play out though. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't like the Valk. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna talk about it, right? So. This is all fine, right? All you have to do here, because obviously you see these guys like going on to you, right? All you have to do is a nice like little um, GA cancel or maybe just like a GA up onto like this high ground or something. So then we can evade them, okay? Because what's going to happen is then they might try and come for your honor, in which case your next GA will be going back to your honor basically. But I feel as though you kind of like just end up popping the Valk just to kind of keep up with people basically. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't like your decision making with, with this Valk, okay? We'll keep going okay this is all fine my only thing is you're very you were very very tunnel vision on this bit okay um i think that's pretty much the whole reason why i valves yeah just honestly frogger think to yourself okay can i get away with maybe doing a ga here instead of doing what's it called the valk because i feel as though either we could have popped it a tiny bit later and got more value out of it or we could have maybe saved it for a different team fight okay now, with this bit, it is completely fine. You're helping with this arrest roll. Really, really great, okay? However, A, place slightly more behind this cover and b you can keep your beam on your wrist while still checking these guys right because remember we still know genji's um gonna be behind us obviously doom's um doom's peel, yeah doom's peel back right so we still know that the genji's gonna be behind i feel so once again we're a tiny bit too tunnel visioned onto this arrest i would have honestly just stuck and you know helped her out as you're doing but just keep on flicking back you know just to check that your soldier and your honor are okay you know like this but we'll keep going you end up kind of going a bit closer, which you don't need to, because you were completely fine where you were. I don't like that slingshot back in. Nice rotation out. Let's get just save, save, ooh. stay really pushed up still here though. You can like, for example, when you end your Valk, you could just stay kind of like crouched behind the payload, or like you can play back here basically. Because once the happens, you end up kind of finishing this Valk, and then you think, okay, Valk's ended, and then you kind of like go really, really far back into the back line. Okay. Try if you can to be a little bit more active in this team fight and still being pushed up here, okay? But we'll keep going. Nice damage boost onto May. Oh, sorry, onto Honor even. At that point, just is what it is. Get your pistol out. <laughs> no, but she just absolutely destroyed you. I said still for a moment here because I quickly got to read my chat. Frogo, um, biggest piece of advice while streaming and playing is your chat can wait. Your chat can wait for you, okay? Because that literally that's what my chat's like. I really struggle to read chat whenever it's like in a team fight. But then when the team fight's over, then I'll go and read chat and I'll go and either continue on the conversation and stuff like that. Doom Doom kind of rolled them there, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but you know, my big my big my biggest piece of advice is just um your chat your chat can wait for you basically to read back. So we could uh, we could what's it called? We could definitely like 
what's it called um spend more time kind of focusing on those like you know those team fights and stuff like that uh anyways doom doom did doom things i'm saying this point lovely damage boost obviously onto your honor just waiting for your team to get back which i don't think you're gonna get a great contest here just purely because of timings and stuff which is unfortunate but we'll keep going <laughs> nice lovely obviously you're out of there what's god god just taken out Nice, lovely peel. Lovely peel for your honor. Really, really great. You play that so well, Frogger, okay? Love how, obviously, you go into the room because, obviously, the male can't get to you. Try to help out. Lovely playing split from your honor, but also make sure that you're still in beam range just to try and, what's it called, help um, the honor out. Once again, really, really good decision making here. Really, really great. Once again, just make sure you're still kind of, you know, pushed up with that soldier. Make sure you're still in beam range with that soldier. I feel so there's been a few times where we've come a little bit out of kind of like beam range with people. Nice heals here. Nice. Damage boost with some more here. Damage boost. Can't do anything for your Reaper there. Lovely ping on the res. Lovely ping on the res. Nice. Obviously try to help with the Arista roll. Really, really nice. Damage boost, you oh, leave, leave your Reaper now. Reaper's going to do his little reaper -y things. He's going to like go and like into like their backline and stuff and do you know do little reaper things remember who's our maybe we target it is our soldier so all we have to do now is just kind of like play down here because what's up happening is we had to kind of jade ourselves in just to you know be with the soldier basically when, sorry the this reaper when he like he'll want to like be like really sneaky now or, like try and get behind him so we need to be kind of like playing with our soldier right now basically i'm just hard focused on the reaper just honestly take that slight second frogger and think to ourselves who is our main blue bean target all right nice Obviously, we're helping Arissa out. The same thing again, just keep pushing that damage boost. Arna can heal up a lot of, like, the, you know, like, the big healing and stuff. Nice. So, let's get put your beam back onto your soldier as soon as you can. I don't mind this fault. This is, this is a good fault. Damage boost. Lovely. Oops. Okay, I just want to quickly just talk about something in um in the Valk right now, okay? I like the timing of this Valk and I like the reason why your Valk is really, really great, okay? Um, let me just quickly um, go back because I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> so this is nice, okay. Same thing again, push that damage boost, push that damage boost. Right, it's in a sec this bit, okay? We do not need to, what's called, we do not need to be kind of helping Reaper here right now. We can just stay mass damage boosting people main okay when we're in our valk we want to try and think to ourselves okay how can we get the most out of our valk right now and this would be you know playing with these guys and stuff unless if the reaper is like absolutely critical right now we don't need to be helping him we could just use our valk to you know help these guys look the positioning though is really really great i've seen again you know slightly picked off while we're rotating completely fine love how you go around the side here nice obviously head hits the bridge it happens Nice. Okay, I I I wanna I wanna talk about this, okay. Oh I wanna I wanna talk about this. I was lost. No no no, it's alright. Let me talk about it. So this is completely fine, obviously. We end up hitting the bridge, it happens, okay? It's this bit. Do we need to be slinging ourselves all the way out to the mega right now okay no because what happens is we've we're gonna get out we're gonna have health regen we also have an honor that's gonna be helping us okay look at the health of our team obviously reaper just get taken out is what it is okay uh, look at our health of our team okay soldiers on a flank and orissa is behind a may wall honor will have that time to be able to come and heal to you heal you or you can go for this little mini right now okay because Unless if you're like, unless if you're like really like close to this health pack, you don't need to. As being selfish, which, which is like fine, but there's times to be selfish, okay? I feel as though we could have been a little less selfish and flung ourselves to this health pack because this is going to be online in just a second. And or even like, we don't even need to be kind of like flinging ourselves to the health packs as such either because it's like, this may walls up. Is anyone going to be able to shoot us right now? No. So, 
we can actually just honestly just stay behind a piece of cover and let our health regen up ourselves okay I feel so we should have definitely done that and waited out for this you know maybe uh, may war two break so we could go and help the aggressor and then we could be there to go and help this soldier visor in a second I want to see what happens in a second though obviously Rissa is getting picked off because um, obviously Arna came to come and help heal for you go for the res which is fine because obviously everyone's attracted by the visor nice rotation back nice Save it again. Okay, remember the. Oh, go on, go on. Okay, my only thing is I feel as though we do end up abandoning the aggressor here, okay? Because obviously, yes, we do have to go back and go appeal for our honor. That is completely fine. However, we should, we could have definitely pos positioned ourselves better here, all right? So this is fine. I like the res because nobody's looking at it. We go back to go and heal for appeal for honor. That's fine going into there. Okay, it's this bit in a second, okay? we end up going really far back here when we don't need to we can actually just do a vertical super jump and go up to here because then it gives us options okay it gives us options to help the honor or it also gives us options to go and help the aggressor i don't want my honor to die which is completely fine like frogger it's the correct decision i'm not i'm not saying that's the wrong decision that is it is the correct decision for you to go and help your honor here but at the same time okay we have to think to ourselves okay but uh you know uh, us like two supports are going like really like preoccupied right now so it means that we still need to be like, you know, really looking out for our team, okay? And the way that we would do this is just doing a nice like little vertical super jump up onto, you know, this high ground and stuff, which then gives us the option to go and help Arissa if we need to, or obviously, you know, stay with the honor if we desperately need to, okay? Just try and like keep those options open, basically. So I have to do this sling out and then, you know, Arissa ends up dying, all right? Nice. Okay, I'll just honestly stay damage boost in here. Nice damage boost. See, soldiers get picked off. Nice position here. Feels Quick thing with this rotation, um, make sure that we are looking down and away as we rotate like this. Because if May hits us with a body shot, it's fine. But if we are just doing like this, it makes our head hitbox like very vulnerable to the May that's been hitting some crazy headshots, kind of say as well, right? So if we can, try and just do this rotation like looking away and down like this. Just to protect that head hitbox up until you get like to back here, basically. Okay? Nice. Damage boost, damage boost. Nice. Ooh. That was a very, very risky res here. Okay, let's let, let's um, let's quickly go back because I wanted to. This is my bad. Yeah, it's what's getting that same thing with with your reses, and I could hundred percent tell you that your res timing is what's it called. Okay. At this point, just stay on the boxes. Or like just just stay where you are okay are you being attacked by the doomfist no okay because he's gonna like still be trying to go for your honor okay you could honestly just stay where you are you could maybe rotate up if you like you desperately want to basically but at the moment we want to kind of like still stay with what's gonna have the option available to you know help these guys but at the same time you know be able to assist with this arrest roll okay now we decide to go and res directly in front of like two people that can very easily pick us off once again okay it's about checking that safety before we go and res, okay? I think your biggest thing, Frogger, with your reses, okay, is I want you to really take just like half half a second just to kind of evaluate the res, okay? Think to yourself, is this going to be safe for me to do it or am I going to like die during this, okay? Or is it like, can I wait longer f to be able to go and do the res and it's going to be safer for me, okay? Because if you also called, Remember, like, Res has, like, what, like, eight, like, the ten seconds now um, for what's called to be, like, you know, like, a big window, basically, to be able to go and Res, basically. So, all you have to do is just, essentially, just, what's it called? Really think about and think, okay, can, will this be, like, safer later on? Or is this just absolutely no-go Res, basically? Risky Res is my favorite thing to do, but I know I need to, um, I need to think it over a lot. Yeah, definitely. Because I would have actually, I would have preferred you just to stay helping your Arissa right now. Like, if we maybe GA'd instead up onto this high ground, we could definitely help out this Orissa, you know, really make the Orissa push forward onto the supports. What will happen is the Doom will panic and obviously, you know, try to go back to go and peel for them. Then that could be a really, really good safe rest for you. 
because you know everyone's gonna go and like focus on the Arissa. You still have your honor available, you know, to help out this Arissa, which means we can then go for this res. Do you see how like we could have waited those extra like couple seconds and made this res like so so much um better for us? Whereas obviously visor ends up happening. We need to get obviously getting taken out by visor. Um, I feel so the enemies are probably gonna win this one. Yeah, which is unfortunate. No, it's a hype broker. Don't worry, honestly. Um, you what's called? You're playing really well, I will say. Like, I feel as though, Frogger, the only thing that's wrong with your- Actually, okay. I feel as though the one thing you're struggling with is decision making, right? But it's not movement decision making, because your movement is really good. I love, for the majority of the time, there's obviously there's a few times where it feels like we could be a little bit more aggressive, okay? Apart from that, your movement is great. Your understanding of the game is really great. You know, you know kind of where we're safe, you know, where to position is really, really good, okay? The two things with your decision making that you're struggling with, though, are when to damage boost and when to res, okay? Yeah, exactly. It's, res it's your res decision making and your damage boost, okay? I feel as though there's been a lot of times where we could have pushed that damage boost a little bit more because your honor is really good this match. Your honor has been, you know, really managing to heal people up, like, really, really nicely and stuff. So let her do that. Let on and build up that Nana Boost because Nana Boost is absolutely insane as an ultimate and is just so much better than your Valk, I will be honest. Um, and then obviously with the rest decision making, we've talked about that, you know, trying to be a little bit more less risky with them. I love all of your cute little Mercy sprays, by the way. They're really cute. Um, but yeah, though, honestly, those are your main two things, Frogger. Other than that, like, they're really great. Valk timings are really good. Um, your aim's been pretty, like, decent as well from what I've seen as well. So, overall, just honestly, it's those two, like, little tiny um, decision-making bits, Frogger, honestly. We'll keep going. Nice damage boost, obviously, at the beginning with the Widow. Don't worry if, uh, if you don't stay with her. Nice, yeah. I was about to say, you can damage boost, like, for that, for that first, like, shot, and then just, like, go and help someone else. Expectation. Oh, unfortunately, we ended up, you know, hitting our head. It's what it is. Help it. Nice. Just a little bit of reaction time there, making sure that we're helping our uh, bat um, a little bit quicker. Because I feel like we're a little bit slow in the reaction time there. But apart from that, all right. Nice damage boost here. Nice. Remember, we don't have lamps. So we're going to try and keep everyone up. Just um, beam flicking a little bit here. I want you to try and like flick your beam onto like people a tiny bit faster here. Because I feel as though we were a little bit too slow on the beam um, flicking about here. Remember, we've already used lamp to try and get Arissa out from the main wall the first time. So maybe like what's it called. Remember as well, Arissa has a massive health pool. And Bastion doesn't have a... As well, obviously Bastion still has a really big health pool like for a DPS. But he still has a little bit of a smaller one. And remember as well, we still have BAP here to come and help us, okay? I want, like, you have to kind of look to yourself and think, okay, who is BAP currently focusing right now on the heels? And you pick the other person. All right? But we'll keep going. Nice. I would have still not gone for that res, I'm going to be honest. Because A, your spawn is like right here. And also B, you still have this mate that's currently like firing um, icicles that you main. I love how like you still like decision make. You still think, oh, like, should I go for it? Right. I still want you to just be really, really cautious with that res, okay? And just don't go for it. Because um, if, if the mate is again picked off or the mate kind of like goes into ice block, then we could have definitely got it off. But yeah, no, we should have definitely, what's it called? We should have definitely um not done it, basically. <laughs> But we'll keep going. Nice damage boost here. Lovely. Honestly, just keep on your keep on your bastion there. Nice rotation. Unfortunate with the bastion, you can't out heal that or anything. Nice damage boost here onto the Arissa. Really, really nice. You see how much we're damage boosting right now and we're hardly healing our like tank or like we're pushing damage boost when people are, like half HP. This is how we need to pull the time for a girl. This was perfect. I love how your beam management for this entire, like, you know, this entire team fight. I love how much you were pressing the damages onto the Bastion. If I was going to be really, really nitpicky with you, I would say there was, like, one part where you did put your beam on the Arissa where we could have definitely let the bat heal it. But I love it. I love how much you're you're, pre you're pushing this damage boost right now um, in this kind of team fight. Do this more often. This is really, really great. I mean, nice. Love your pig that you can't res. Nice. Push damage boost again. That's fine to heal because obviously Bat wants DPS in this window. Nice. Let's get to try and flip the damage boost on for that um 
That being the um, javelin. Love this. Do you see? Do you see how it's holding this damage boost right now? And we're just you know we're not we're not flicking on the heels. We're not worried about the Sarissa. This this is how you should play Frogger. This is this is perfect. Now obviously we will need to heal, which is completely fine. Just a quick thing as what we're doing. A lot of these um hops about right now. Um, if you want to try and do um, like for example, I know it's really difficult for some people like to stay still all the time but hopping about like this basically if you don't know with jumping you do like a vertical like bum, 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 like this okay so it's like and it's very um linear and it's very kind of like ribbon pull as well where it's like do do kind of this okay and you can't cancel a jump i want you instead just to be kind of like jump instead of jumping about like this be um crouching like you know like um like crouch, 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 crouch. You know, like make it makes you less predictable, and also it um, it means that you know your jump isn't going to be able to ruin any of like your mercy movement on the just in case. Okay, I was not thinking in the moment when I held the um, heal beam onto Rissa. Honestly, no frogo. Like you, you did the right thing here, pushing the damage boost. Really, really nice. Lovely push on the damage boost again. Your damage boost is a lot better this round, I will say. Nice, obviously, you know, we're following up with Widow. Just as, as we're doing this, make sure that we're still looking down at our team on the just-in-case. But I like how we're going to go maybe take this flank with this um, Widow. My only thing is I feel as though... If, if I was personally doing this game, I would not be going with the Widow, okay? Now, this is kind of like, I think, more of a personal preference thing. I'm going to give my argument, and by all means, people can, you know, make their own opinions and stuff. My personal opinion here is I don't want to go with Widow because Widow's going to go and flank behind and try and just get a one-shot headshot. You going with and applying the beam is going to give her away really, what's it called, really easily. However, if we stay obviously main with Bastion, we can just apply pressure main, obviously with like Bastion's turret form and with the damage boost and stuff, which gives free reign for the Widow to do whatever she wants. Now, of course, there is the counter argument here of like, oh, well, the Doomfist will like, you know, or like people will go and die with the Widow and there's nobody that's going to help her, you know? But I feel as though in my personal opinion and how I would play is I would just leave the Widow to do her little flank, allow her to, you know, get these like little shots off just completely like, you know, like, nobody knows where she is. She just appeared as, like, a little assassin in the back line, okay? And you stay main and try and, what's it called? Like, pressure people main. I think that's that's what I would personally do here, but I, I know I know people, what's it called? I know people, like, sometimes like to go with the Widows and stuff, but that's that's just me. Um, But we'll keep, keep going, though. Obviously, doing the damage boost in here. Here. Nice. Obviously, you have to get that pick off. Oh. Just honestly, you could, you could play pushed up with her right now. You could just, um, honestly, you could just play kind of like pushed up and just play here. Because what ends up happening is you, uh, you register the, your Ash and you're like, oh my gosh, where shall I play, okay? It is so much safer for you to go this way rather than you just, what's it called, go back here. I pushed up the because I knew Bab had a Bash and Arissa. Yes, no, exactly. Which I feel as though is definitely the counter argument for Ogo. And I like that decision making from you. I feel as though it's, it's, it's not, I'm not saying that you're wrong to do this at all. I'm just saying, in my personal opinion, that's what I would have done kind of thing. Because you could do both here and both of them are not like wrong things to do. So yeah. So anyway, so um, yeah, I would just, what's called, I would push up just to kind of be out of the way with your Ash there, basically. But we'll keep going. And we're going to stay with the Widow. Lovely. We don't need Valk here. Oh, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Okay, we, we do not need this Valk. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you. We did need this Valk, but I like how you use the Valk, though, to be fair. Like... I feel so. The the Valk, what you did in the Valk was good, and your decision making in the Valk was good, but at the same time, I don't think we needed the Valk, okay? Because you did this, like, this little jump right in order to play with the Widow. I would rather you jumped and then just, like, kind of, like, played up here. Because then, obviously, you're going to be out of LOS of the Ash in case your Widow is getting picked off by the Ash. At the same time, as well, you can, what's it called? You can still peel back, peel back for people. Now, we're in a kind of like going in. I love how you focus onto the ash because obviously the ash is like a little bit easier to hit, especially when she's still like scoped in and stuff. Really like nice aim, you know, especially like being able to go and get her really, really nice. And I love how you go back to go and help your team, okay? I feel as though the Valk wasn't needed. I didn't like the decision making with the Valk, but I like what you did with it in the end. Okay, but we'll keep going. Nice damage boost, obviously, onto the. Um, uh, what's it called? 
that's completely fine helping the figure here nice i would have made that a little bit more of a straight jade like your bastion here nice that's completely fine because you want to try and get away from the how do this lovely peel back nice okay no no you can you can leave that do you see how your wrist is using her javelin to get back she will then get back and what's called be healed up by barb okay you can just once again you can just stay with your um because you could just stay with your widow right now nice love how you just do a straight ga there really really nice Stop trying doing like these little like mini super jumps when you're in like this little room, okay? Because it's not only going to increase your GA cooldown, but it's also not going to be able to get you any better positioning right now. It's so much better if you're like maybe you just crouch behind this like little um pillar bit or just like do something. It was also an accident. No, it's all right. Um. Someone correct me if I'm wrong here, but. Can you crouch and get the res off here? You know how on Ilios, there's two Ilios points where you have like those little um, archway bits with like the blue thing um, and you can get the res off? You can. I would have just done that. Because I feel like you end up kind of like dropping and then being like really, really vulnerable to people. But I would have rather, what's it called? I would rather you like, what's it called? I just didn't do it because I wasn't thinking. Yeah, we could have definitely got this res. I like, I like this res, Frogger. This is like one of the few times where your res decision making has been good, okay? But I would I would rather you did a crouched one here just to quickly get the res off. You know, catch them like really off guard basically. Rather than you kind of like drop in to get this res off, okay? We should make this a little bit of a crouched one. But it's alright. Nice. Lovely peel for Widow right now. Nice peel for Bart. Lovely damage boost onto him. Do you see how like, you kind of like just left him critical and just uh, damage boosted him because he was like still really, really safe? Love it. Really, really nice. Um, honestly, Frogger, your damage boost usage got a lot better throughout this entire second round, honestly. It's been really, really great. I push up with Widow here a little bit more though. Just because uh, your team don't really need you on the payload. Second thing as well is the payload will take a few seconds to set off from this um, position. It happens on pretty much any kind of like objective point and stuff like that, where it'll take a few seconds like to, you know, get itself like reactivated and start moving. So we can use that time to push up with Widow and try and get some like extra pickoffs basically. Uh, but we keep going. You see how like Widow is again dove by two people and we could have definitely been up with her basically. I feel like we played a little bit too passively here, but it's fine. Nice damage boost onto the ult. Don't worry too much about having to damage boost the um the Arisa. I was low-key scared to push with Widow. All you have to do, right? Because Widow, Widow will play like up here and she'll leave like play quite far into here or she'll play like here. All you have to do is just kind of like just hang off the edge and she's your angel at the same. And then or you can even like just stand on the platform with her until she gets dove, basically. But you could just honestly you sit back, Angelic Descent, and then obviously she gets dove, you try and help her out. If she then dies while you're also supporting her, oh look, my team's here. And you could just like, you know, go back to go back to him basically. Um with this, don't try and tunnel vision onto this arrest roll. Like, yes, it's really good to damage boost, okay? But try and think of the bigger pictures we're doing so. Remember, Genji's obviously just gone into our like backline and stuff. We could definitely maybe damage boost our um our bash in a second or something, you know, just try and like help this out. Just don't basically like, tunnel vision onto this Arissa too much, okay? Fine rotation. Push the damage boost. Lovely. Lovely peel for that. Lovely bout. Oh, go on. But lovely. Love this. This is such a good bout, Frogger, okay? I love the reason why you pop it, because obviously you pop it while everyone's critical. You end up going for the Kiriko, which is like, you know, completely fine. Just make sure that your team's okay before you do so. Lovely how like you get those first like couple shots, realize you're not gonna get the kill, and you just go straight back to your team. I see so many mercies. Get the get the Glock out and they just like be what's it called? Just be really like really what's it called? Um 
tunnel visioned onto like the one person they're trying to kill and then like it's like half a Valk later and you still haven't killed him and everyone else has like died i love how like you take those couple shots realize eh, probably not gonna be able to get this kill and like you just go back lovely lovely decision making here all right really nice lovely don't shoot don't, don't shoot with deflex we need to kill fam <laughs> And then at the end of your Valk, just make sure that we're still playing um, back behind our team. Remember when our Valk is going to be ending and try to position ourselves ready for it, basically. Um, just make sure as well, we're not shooting inside Genji. I didn't know he was deflexing. <laughs> for me, it's, it makes a little sound. <laughs> but it's all right, sweet. Um, but yeah, just what's called. Just at the end of this Valk, just make sure that we're backing off with our team. Because right now we're making ourselves like a really big target for everyone just to kind of like, you know, look at and get to basically. Make sure that we're still backing off so we're like playing with our team a little bit more here. Lovely rotation though. Help, help out. Ooh, we should, we should not be able to have Ashton there. I don't think he would have saved him. No. I don't like this res because you made it very, very obvious to the Sigma that we were, that we were gonna go res, okay? So, uh, we should, so first of all, we should help Bastion, that's completely fine, okay? That's happened, that's gone past, that's, that's in the past, can't change that, okay? Next thing, so we now need to try and res Bastion. How are we going to do this safely? Yes, you have the correct positioning. This is really great. Great positioning. Correct one. However, we have no cover because obviously the Sigma's going to be like pushing up and being like really aggressive like he was, okay? How can we get some nice cover whilst doing this? We wait for our Arisa to push forward. If we wait for our Arisa to push forward and be where she is now, or even if you just like ping it being like, hey, I want to res, it will give that indication for your Arisa to go and push forward and she'll get start like getting really, really aggressive in. Then... Like, you know how, like, uh, very much at this point now, then we go for the res, okay? But we keep going. That was just lovely. Love how you heal while the deflex on. Perfect. Very, very nice beam management here. That's fine. Love your position right now. Unfortunately, everyone just ends up falling. Needs a lot of ults, to be fair. Nice. Lovely, lovely escape, Brogger. Really, really nice. I feel as though you pretty much did everything you should have done throughout the entire like team fight. They just what's it called? They just launched a load of bolts onto you, so you can't really do anything. But really, really well played there. We'll keep going. All the damage boost. That's fine. Just make sure we get back onto our back. Make sure they still get back onto our bash a little bit quicker, all right? Remember, it's our job to try and keep bashed up, and Bat will obviously focus on the tank a little bit more. Make sure that we don't even need to like rotate here as much because obviously, you know, Bat can heal um, Arisa from that distance because his shots will like loop over kind of thing. So just make sure that we're still helping this bash a little bit more here. That's fine. You're going dropping down to gun res. Nice. Say that your Val's gonna be ready. Nice. Nice. No, no, no. Oh. We don't need Valk here. We don't need Valk here. Because Valk has just once again, it's done nothing for us right now. Like, we can just, what's it called? We could just honestly just stay up on this high ground and stuff and just damage boost and just wait for this Genji to fall. Because at some point, someone will hit him kind of thing. So honestly, all you have to do is just sit here and just damage boost. And then you can obviously, you know, go in to go and help. Taking out the clock for the first time was a mistake. Yeah, I, I was going to say, Frog of well, we should definitely just stuck the damage boost on someone and, like, maybe, like, you know, just wait for them to pick them off, definitely. But we definitely didn't need the Valkyrie either, all right? But we'll keep going. Remember that you're also a person up in this team fight. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Nice damage boost here. Just be really, really careful behind you because obviously you can hear that the Junkrat is on this high ground and stuff. A lot of times Junkrats will kind of uh, use their concussion mines and stuff to come up to here and then start, you know, spamming down from the high ground, which is what this Junkrat's doing right now. So just, you know, really bear that in mind with like sound wise. But it feels like you realize in a second. Nice. Nice aim there. <laughs> that's, that's not on you. Nice res though. A nice aim as well to the, the Junk as well. Just him. That's, that's not on you that the drunk crowd just dives him. Okay. I'd be setting myself up on the high ground now. 
I would set myself up onto here because you could cut you know how there's like these little boxes it's actually still a little bit where you can stand up here it means that you're not going to take any spam damage from the beginning and also we can still you know stay with our bastion right now so I would look to you know start the fight up here nice I'll do thing just took way too much damage I can't do with your Orissa because obviously you're trying to peel, which is completely fine. Nice rotation. Nice. I, I'd look to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> Literally, like, pre like just going to prove my point, what I'm just going to say. We need to try and, like, back out here now. Um, rather than fling ourselves back up here. Okay, this team fight's lost. We want to try and get out as quick as we can. If people die whilst getting out, it is what it is because you tried your best to try and get out. But we should definitely try to get out a little bit quick, a little bit quicker here. <laughs> Literally as proven by the junk crap. Can't do through your back something gets headshot by the carry. I would have, I would have, okay. So there's, a, there's a lot going on. Okay, I feel as though the res was your only mistake in this team fight. I feel as though we should have definitely not gone for that res. Look like you're trying to you know, tell your um can't do it from that junk. Like you gave that junk plenty of warning to get out, okay. My only the only mistake you made in this team fight was um going for this res, okay? We want to make sure that everyone's up and healthy before we go for that res because we don't want to be trading people's lives for reses unless it was like for a very specific reason, okay? Um but that's fine. You can't do it for your junk because he just decides just to intend. That's not on you. Lovely push to the damage boost here. Nice. That's fine. Lovely belt. So let's get, try and help our Ryan a little bit more than the belt. Nice heals. Just a re really good tire. Can't, you can't do it for my belt, unfortunately. It's just a very, very good tire. Um, I'm gonna see what's up happening though. Jokers are dying. Brian's are dying. And unfortunately, it's a loss, which is really unfortunate for me because I feel as though you played really well. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. If if you were kind of oh, that sat there beating yourself up about this loss, not your fault. I'm gonna be very honest. The actual person whose fault is probably your junk rat for instance on, on that last team fight. You could have definitely like if, if the junk rat got out, you could have definitely reset a lot quicker and then gone it a lot quicker. Um. But honestly, Frogger, that's not your fault that you lost that, okay? Because your positioning was really great, okay? I was dead to say that you lost. Yeah, and it's alright, Frogger, because you played really well, okay? And if you feel like, if you know that you played really well, does not matter, okay? If you feel like you did the absolute best that you can and you played really well that match and it's a loss, who cares, okay? Because you, you played you played really well yourself, that's a win in my book, okay? Um... First thing is obviously your positioning is really, really great, okay? There's obviously a few times where we could have maybe corrected it a tiny, like, a little bit more, but it's mainly, like, really, like, in-depth map knowledge kind of thing, which comes by playing the game a lot more kind of thing. But overall, like, positioning was really, really great for, like, the majority of the time, basically. It was really good. Um, reses are the thing that we need to work on, though, most definitely, okay? Try and be really kind of cautious before we go for that res, okay? Check everyone's okay. Check it's going to be a good res, okay? I want you to basically, Frogger, go really back to basics and just go, honestly, go re really back to the basics of how we res and when to res, okay? Because I... It, it might sound a bit rude for me to say, but it's very much... It will help you out. It will help you out so, so much. Because if you really go back to the basics, review those basics, and just kind of see when we should be doing them kind of things, it will help you out so much massively in the long run, okay? Um, the other thing is, I feel as though there were a few Valks where we end up kind of like just popping it and there's no reason or like rhyme to it kind of thing. Some of them were amazing. Some of the Valks were absolutely like amazing, but some of them were a little bit... Eh. Why are we doing it? Um, so it's um, it's it's a little bit like that basically. But I feel so like they were good though. Definitely, just kind of be a little bit more strict with when we're using our Valks. Okay. Um, what was your fingers gonna say? Oh, damage boost. It got so much better as well later on in the match. Okay. Um, I want you to do that more. Like you, you know how like um on your attack how like you push your damage boost a lot more when people were critical or when people like losing a bit of HP. Do that more, but on your um on your defense because you're what's called um i feel so on defense you were a bit too panicky of like oh my gosh okay your other support was amazing that match as well kind of say that both of your supports did not deserve to lose that because you guys were really really great okay just let them heal it up they will earn their ults quicker and it'll be so much better in the long run 
Um, but yeah, Froco, that is it for the VOD. Um, please do let me let me know if you have any more questions. Once again, thank you so much to everyone on YouTube as well as on Twitch to be watching this. You guys can get your own VOD reviews, D for five thousand ton of points. I do the most with Twitch on Mondays, but also stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays too. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye.